Next up, it's another exclusive, fresh from mastering their debut album at Abbey Road Studios in London. We've been invited to hear John Peel's latest protégé's appliance perform live for SFX. It all started, um, myself and David were kind of school friends in the kind of mid-80s making music in each other's sort of bedrooms. Um, and then it sort of developed on, we all went to college and things like that. Michael came on the scene probably about four or five years ago now. And he walked into a practice room with a kind of uh, bass guitar and a four-track recorder. And he was like, wow, like some messiah. <laughs> so he was instantly in the band. So it started to become more serious then. We wanted to put our own records. That was like a real big deal for us to kind of get to vinyl. Yeah. Um, so we put out, we saved up our money and put out a 10 inch record called Organized Sound, um, a limited pressing. Um, and it sold very well and we got good reviews. Um, and things have gone on from there really. Um, we signed with Mute last year. Because um... you, you, you started off with a 10 inch format, which is quite a strange format to sort of. Why did you sort of opt for that to well, start we, with? We really love that format, the idea of something that sat between an LP and a single. Yeah. It's kind of awkward in the record collection. What do you do with this thing, <laughs> this ten inch? It doesn't fit in that right shelf you've yeah. got for the singles. And... So, yeah, we just wanted to be awkward. <laughs> no, I mean, it was like we wanted to put something out that was substantial, mm. but not an LP because we couldn't afford it. <laughs> a year after first hearing them, Mute Records signed Appliance. Now they're about to release their debut album, from which the new single Pacifica is taken. Pacifica was us wanting to write a, a, a driving track, if you like, um, with lots of momentum and movement. Um, and there's a track by Kraftwerk called Autobahn um, some years ago. And it was kind of wanting to write something along those lines, but also wanting to bring in kind of an American feel, the idea of the Pacific Coast Highway in San Francisco. So it kind of was us bringing together those two elements. Um, it's the perfect driving soundtrack. <laughs> have you tasted it out? Yeah, we have, yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm 25. <laughs> Goodbye, son. Music's been described in, in sort of bits and bobs that I've read as space rock. How do you feel about labels like that? If you take it literally, the idea of space I mean, within music um, is really important to us. You know, less is more. When we're in the rehearsal room writing together, it's like, how little can we play and kind of get away with and still make something that's cohesive as a track or, you know, together as a track? seems to me to be very emotionally driven. Would you say that's true in terms of the, the music side of things? We're interested in tension and things like that, but I'm not sure if emotion is the right word. You always get that feeling when you say, oh, a music's emotional, that it's kind of some kind of sentimental outpouring of, kind of emotion. Yeah, drama going, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> of course, actually, you know, we are quite distant to the music and, and we are quite standoffish, if you like. Just, just cool. <laughs> <laughs> When you take it out live, do you approach it completely differently then, when you're playing live? Uh, it's very difficult to recreate 
what you do on record. Um, so you know, we have the sort of idea of you know, just doing it a different way. And mm. We have another guy called Will who comes in and um, he does a lot of keyboards and samplers, that stuff that we just can't do with just being a three piece. So that's we how we have got hands, you see. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much, you know, as close as we can get, but a little bit more raw and sort of going for it. for a short break but join us in just a few moments where I'll be